What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at NVIDIA and other semiconductors as well like AMD, ARM, Broadcom, SMCI. We'll go over all these stocks as well and let's take a look at what's been going on especially with NVIDIA. We'll be spending a lot of time in this morning update on NVIDIA and then we had ARM's earning yesterday. It is doing a rebound since then so we'll take a look at that as well. All right, guys, with that, please hit the like and subscribe. And also please note, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. All right, so bull flag. Is NVIDIA in one of the bull flags right now? So, well, I'll talk about why that could be the possibility. Um, but what I'm seeing still in the pattern, guys, that structure at $887 that I have been talking about, NVIDIA is, as long as it's above that, it's still holding one of those structures of bullishness, right? Uptrend. Yes, intraday shorts, they could be played, as I have been saying. We'll talk about that in just a second. But the structure is still higher highs, higher lows to the upside. There is no loss of pivot. There is no loss of previous level. That is 887 in this particular case. And 887 to 885, give or take, right? And then we are still above 50 and 20 days moving average. And as I have been saying, bulls have a lot of room to play even until $859 level. So let's go to the hourly interval, right? Things will get much more clear over there. So you can see that from the top, right? I have been saying that guys, at least this intraday cool off can continue first to the level of 887 to 883, this range, right? And then if you continue to lose that, then you're watching this, this bottom trend line, which is close to 859 and 200 hours moving average because we have been rejecting this overhead trend line from four days. Today even also we sold off over there, also rejecting at one of our critical level of $906. So yes, intraday short that is coming and that's what I have been talking about. Now next leg to the downside would be if we lose the zone of 887 to 883 and then you expect 200 hours moving average at least that test also coming. That's the next leg on the intraday. However, like on the swing, I well, on swing, this trend bottom of this trend line or 200 hours moving average is still just a pullback. On the swing, you should take profits in the extensions, right? And then you size out or, well, or you wait for the pullback and then try to play into the, uh, when you see the new confirmation at these support pivot areas of the swing, right? So, but anyways. Is this a bull flag though and why so guys so what nvidia has been doing is in the swing uptrend right and oops sorry it's in the uh, swing uptrend here now what is what i'm seeing here is a potential uh, again it's not going to be penny to penny perfect but what i'm trying to surface here is this potentially a bull flag this comes in an uptrend where the stock doesn't make like lower lows, right? But tries to make a lower high that we have been getting, but keeps the lower low very constant. It's not a dip on that. It's, it shows buying happening at these levels. So you can see that it's a bullish sign actually, okay? You can see that even today, look at these massive wicks that came at 887 and 885, right? So this is a buying pressure coming in and still holding the level around 891 range, right? That this constitutes usually a bull flag. Now, how do bull flags usually results to is an explosive move whenever, uh, you know, a stock gets out of that bull flag, right? And in this particular case for Nvidia, it will be this upper trend line, right? Is that happening today right away? Well, not quite so. We are seeing that the sell-off at the previous pivot is continuing to happen. What we have to see is, well, it needs to get out of this channel to constitute next leg higher up. Otherwise, until then, expect this thing to continue to cool off to 200 hours moving average and all this bottom of the trend line, where would that it will be? But just please remember that this level of 887 is still holding strong. So. If we don't break it and we stagnate here and then eventually break out of this uh, channel, right, of the bull flag, then you are expecting again an upside uh, coming on this. And then we will see if it tries to form a double top here or makes a lower low. But the thing is that 
uh, to get out of this bull flag, it has to happen one way or the other. Right now, it's not happening to the downside because we are seeing this support happening, the buying happening, and then higher lows also forming while uh, lower highs are forming, right? So uh, this, yeah, this is where it tells you that this pivot level is holding strong, 887, and that's what I have been saying that, you know, uh, technically the structure is still to the upside on the swing guys um intraday as if weakness comes it's level by level as what i showed you we got one level down to the 887 in this intraday short place and then the next level is if we lose 887 then possibly 859 right so that's nvidia for the morning update uh, let's take a look at uh, amd now so I'm gonna go very high level on these other semiconductors. So AMD, um, guys, this is where you have to see that, you can see, this is what I have been saying. If AMD holds this 151 now, okay, this is a pullback in an ongoing uptrend and then we can come to $162. The confirmation of that is break above 20 days moving average. If we do that, sure, expect an upside then. If we break below 151, then you are expecting now again 145. That's for the near term. Uh, let's take a look at ARM. So ARM did a rebound today, but it's selling off. And I talked about it that rebounds, well, I wasn't expecting this such a strong rebound, but rebound can be shorted. That's what I talked about. But also there's usually a possibility of V continuing lower, but we didn't do that on ARM. So, but are we in an uptrend? it's a it's a complex not a complicated one sorry it's this is something you can follow not just this but uh you can follow this sort of channel all right now the thing is that um the 20 days moving average right over there is still rejecting over there uh, let's go to the hourly interval yeah this is a this is quite a strong sell-off right it's coming at where the same supply zone right yeah, this is a tough one, guys, right now. When I say tough one, um, yeah, you just watch 200 hours moving average or this channel. If you start to lose this, we are heading again lower. And um, But yeah, if we can stay above $105 or that 20 days moving average, most importantly, is what you can go for with ARM, then you can expect upside continuation or in this channel. If you are outside this channel, expect downside. If you're inside this channel, you can treat the bottom as to see if it's holding these levels still. And if it doesn't, uh, expect downside. So let's go back to the hourly interval again. Yeah, that's where 200 hours moving average is as well. Yeah, um, I'm not going to bet my whole bank on this. So just trade with that sentiment. If it holds 200 hours moving average, you can expect some upside on this. But the, the big plays on semiconductors are guys are done. When I say are done, I mean... We still are getting plays like on uh, NVIDIA and even AMD and all these arms as well, but those type of big plays, right? Like these crushes, you know, they are done at least on ARM. And then now, yeah, you are seeing if it recaptures above 20 days moving average and gets above the level of 104 to 105, then you can expect upside on this again. All right, let's take a look at SMCI the, for this morning update, the last talk and so the structure it hasn't changed yet uh, it's still rejecting at this uh, 842 and also in this trend line zone right um, so yeah the structure is not to the upside guys um, and there's i think now less likelihood of pivot forming because it's consolidating here <sighs> i'm debating myself if i should open up a short play on this uh, let's go to the hourly interval yep I am interested. So what, what's happening on the hourly interval as well is that um, it, it has lost that pivot that it tried to hold yesterday, 810, and it's making a lower high already and rejecting underneath the trend line and underneath the structure of 843 as well. And yes, I'm just gonna... All right, guys, this to me looks... Oops. Yeah, this to me looks like a ignore this trend line this trend line is some gets crooked sometimes when i'm on the hourly interval it shows fine daily interval it switches for some reason i don't get it uh yeah see it's just turned crooked again um anyways i'll i'll fix this just in a second guys yeah it's it's funny how 
uh, sometimes these things glitches here. Again, this trend line will never be penny to penny perfect, guys. But you get the idea, right? Even if, okay, let's say we don't have this trend line. That's fine because what I'm seeing in the structure, I'm still seeing that weakness. It hasn't really, I've got to get rid of this trend line as well. It, has, it hasn't gotten out of the structural resistance of $855 range, right? So that's where the resistance is still there. And so let me just mark it here. So this is the short play I am interested in. I'm going to open it maybe right away. And it's right over here. I'm just going to open it wherever it is. And at least to, at least, the, but I'm going to size out in the areas and stop loss. Yeah, right over here. I can even have a stop loss a little bit here on this one because this is where the pivot is already there on the structural resistance. All right, I'm just going to go on the other screen and open this up, my play. But yeah, this is the short play I'm looking at, guys, on this one um, that I will open right away. But yeah, this is just my opinion, though. Um, yeah, and I expect this thing to continue lower. We don't need this trend line as well anymore. Get rest. Clean up the chart a little bit. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.